You're in a, a hierarchy, aren't you? Oh, you're yes, there. You're, you're in right. a certain hierarchy that no one can take away from you. So these two men with so much at stake, Murad Agusinov from the Kingdom of Bahrain, Dmitry Prachuk from the Ukraine, just, I think, ever so slightly the taller of the two, but a looping right hand from Gusinov. And again, the setup, a beautiful takedown. Again, straight to the double, hands on the butt lock, pulling him back. Now he has his opponent down against the fence. Well, he, as you said, he threw that right hand knowing where the fence was, and even when it just missed, he was automatically following up. He knew he was going to be safe. He knew where he was. The timing was all there, and Prachuk on his back early in this opening round. Gushinov just on top, relaxing. You know, there's no real pressure, but he gets a side mount position, a beautiful side mount position. And we'll see what he does from here. He stands back up. And he just wants to implement some ground and pound. But again, those punches open up your opponent. It makes him panic and goes, hey, man, I don't want to get punched in the face. Those look like vicious strikes. I'm going to move. And he gave up his back. Now he's giving up the mount. Yeah, superb work from Gushinov Oh, it's there. actually a half guard. Excuse me. Yeah, superb work from Gusinov the way he transitions and as you said it was the minimum effort that he did it with as well the energy conservation here as he pushes Prechuk up to the cage wire posturing up passing all oh, in that right hand aside. that is so beautiful that, is, that honestly is pro level stuff against some of the guys that I train with they're still barely learning that now heck I barely even know how to use that now you know it's it's so smooth how he just performed that. Again, his transitions, going from different positions, side mount, half guard, standing back up, striking. He's implementing all the pro level games. And again, the IMOF is pro level guys at, at the amateur ranks. He's got the mount here now as well for, to compound Prachuk's problems. He's got a high mount here. Prachuk realizes trying to buck and move. But these are dangerous times, times for Prachuk and from the Ukraine. And he's able to get a half guard back, but again, he's still in a very dangerous spot because we see that, you know, the Bahraini fighter is able to stand, or excuse me, stand back up, posture up, and punch away at pretty much every single angle and position. Yes, it's been a torrid opening round for Dmitry Prachuk from the Ukraine. Not through anything he's done wrong, which we've seen before, but through the slick movement of Murad Gushinov from Bahrain here. And again, he's got the knee pressure. He, he transitions so smoothly. And I was about to say that it's just very hard for Project trying to stand up because there's so much just pressure on him at all times. Again, the knee to the belly. But you see, he gets up and he's trying to get out. He was trying to go for the guillotine. There's not much he can do, but because he's holding on to that guillotine in a bad position, he's pulling himself right back down to the mat. Yes, and his eyes, slight damage there to the right eye. Nothing serious, but it is a big, big round from Gusinov. Kingdom of Bahrain in the blue corner, big opening round. They touch gloves, Cam Prachuk. Stop him taking him down again so early as he did in the first. Walking him down quickly, Gusinov, as he did in the first. He closed that gap quickly, didn't he? And straight down, big looping right hand from Prachuk. Switch his stance, Gusinov. And the roundhouse. Patrick, as I said, he's durable. He moves out the way. He saw it coming, bites on that gum shield. But again, Gushinov just mixing it up, not immediately going for the takedowns. As I said, again, you saw that big head kick. Just relax, and he seems just extremely composed. Spinning back kick straight to the body. Taking his time. Patrick, a little left to the body. Again, bringing the hands up. Gushinov setting up. Making him think. The project just seems a little timid now after the first round. He's almost like he's waiting for that takedown attempt and wondering when it's coming and, and almost in panic mode before it comes. Well, so dominant that, yeah, it makes, it makes you rethink it for sure. They spin clear once more. And they touch gloves and there's an air of authority about Gusnoff comes forward, almost jumps in with the left hook. A little Roy Jones jumping left hook, but oh, beautiful right hand just ducking under. And again, you see he, he's not immediately shooting in, he's implementing a stand-up. He's doing pretty much whatever he wants in this fight. And we've seen earlier, you can almost get hypnotized into thinking it's going to be an upright fight and then suddenly you're on your back because that's exactly what Gusnoff's wanted you to think that 
yes, focus on the upright, concentrate on that. That's my line of attack, and then suddenly the shoot comes in. Oh, spinning back fist as well. You get the feeling that Gusinov's just enjoying himself here at the moment. Oh, yeah, he's he's treating this like a sparring match. He's lifting up his shorts, walking away. He goes, okay, come on, let's go back in the center. All right, come on, let's go back in the center. Doing this thing, just having fun. Yes, inside. Leg kick there as well. But again, he's showing he's not just a fighter. He is an MMA fighter. He's mixing it up. And beautiful left, right. Yes, they're clean shots. Patrick forced to take them. Up. And as Jose said, um, different fighter to the one I saw yesterday. Far more timid the term we used. And it's because of the dominance of Gusinov and the way he's mixing it up. And he's got inside the head of Pratchup, that's for sure. Yeah, no one, no one likes to take too many shots to the face or just shots in general. So it's a fact of, man, I, I love to stand and bang and put on a show, but I, I just don't feel confident anymore because this guy is beating me up or piecing me apart. Yes, the accuracy, and he, he's, he's going to take this second round in cruise control on his feet. It's a masterclass at the moment from Murad Gusinov. Just to reinforce the, the mental war games, Gusnov was there, was just rolling his shoulders, relaxed, and say, look, I've got so much left, I'm really enjoying this, I'm ready to go again. The psychological advantage he's had as well, the way he's worked his opponent mentally is also incredible to watch. And as you said, Patrick comes forward, throws the right leg without conviction, and has to eat the punch. Beautiful calf kick. Those definitely are not fun to take. I've taken a few of them actually in one of my title defenses and after about three, I didn't even want to walk anymore. Patrick being walked down by Gusinov. And again, there's that timidity. So he put the two hands together, ducked, rolled away. And Gusinov didn't even need to make the attack. And it's definitely understandable. Again, he's taking some really, really hard, significant, flashy shots as well. So it's the fact of he doesn't even know what's coming again. His opponent's right in front of him, but he runs away because he just, he's, he's very, very timid. He's afraid to get hit with a clean blow. And again, Gusinov, the footwork, the movement, and there's the control, the subtle control, even without having to throw anything. Dictating the pace of this man, dictating where it's fought, how it's fought. He wants it upright, it was upright second round. He wanted it to the ground, he took it to the ground, the opening round. You know, the way I look at it is Prochuk's facing a pro-level guy. You know, he's facing a guy who's easily ready for the pros to put on a spectacle. And Prochuk, again, he's a great fighter. He's doing nothing wrong. He's just getting out class. And it, again, in this sport, mainly in this competition, you're going to face some of the best guys in the world. You're a big fish. It just so happens there happen to be bigger fish. And he's met one here in Murad Gusinov, who is competing so well within himself as well in this bat. That left hook lands cleanly. He comes forward. He moves away, working at will. And when we talk about being fresh for tomorrow, the, it, it's been so easy for him here. And then the little shovel uppercut to the midsection. Beautiful and then the left, cartwheel yeah. away Beautiful as well. Beautiful left of the body, cartwheel just to escape. It's a fancy escape as well. This is a confident man, totally in control of the cage. Well, that cartwheel escape, it just shows his athletic ability and it shows his wrestling repertoire too because more than likely, Prachuk would have shot a double. That's, that cartwheel would have helped stop that double leg from coming. And so we're inside the last 30 seconds, which will be a relief for Dmitry Patrick from the Ukraine because Murad Gusinov, one of the most complete performances you'll see at these World Championships so far from the man from Bahrain in total control of his environment, his opponent, his game plan. Just a joy to watch and hasn't broken sweat. And again, he, it looks like he's held back in this third round, but there's no need to, to go all out. You won two rounds and none, and you weren't worried about, you know, Prochok's offense. So let's just play it safe, relax. Get on the result, they know what's coming. Page number four, we go to the judges' scorecards. And your winner of our unanimous decision in the blue corner, representing the kingdom of Bahrain, Murad Gusenov.